with your name and the yeah, name of the sure. company? Hi, I'm Alan Poor. I'm the group program manager for Expression Encoder, and I'm going to talk about live smooth streaming on Expression Encoder. Excellent. So what we've got here is basically the live module in Expression Encoder 4, and what we're doing is live smooth streaming here. You'll notice over to the right down here where I'm getting my mouse pointed at is basically three bit rates that we're currently encoding to. And what we're using now in Expression Encoder and our SP coming out later this year is the GPU to enable us to encode at least three, sometimes up to eight different streams simultaneously to broadcast out to an audience. Whether it's on devices or on your web browser, you can do these various bit rates to determine uh, kind of the best playback for the client that you happen to be using. So what smooth streaming is all about is basically playing back video and to avoid the stuttering and buffering that's common with this depending on your network bandwidth or CPU, we have client-side heuristics that determine the best bit rate to be playing back. So kind of instead of getting those buffering or those issues that I talked about before, we'll just degrade in quality or change the quality metric to basically keep a smooth stream of playback to not interrupt the experience. So technology like this would be good for a netbook? Yeah, a netbook could definitely do this back. It's something of a lower power. What it'll do is basically go down to a lower stream and play it back rather than having this chunky kind of playback. Cool. And so here you can kind of see this, and what this is showing off is the three bit rates that we're actually showing here. And basically a bunch of heuristics that determine, hey, I'm looking at how well your CPU is doing, I'm looking at your bandwidth connection to determine what quality level stream can be played back. And if something happened where say your neighbor got onto your Wi-Fi or your kids are on it and all of a sudden it slowed down rather than stopping the video we just degrade the quality to keep that smooth experience playing. So it's coming out of this using IIS smooth streaming onto a browser or even devices. And you can basically go. Awesome. Thanks so much for taking the time. You're welcome.